let's go through the receive section today. Uh, the antenna is over here. It comes up this way. It's going to go through some preamplification, and then it's going to go into this magic chip that's the receiver. And then it's, the receiver is going to give you audio, and the audio is going to go to the audio amplifier, which we've already covered. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about that today. Let me give you a blow up, uh, blow up of that. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> Again, there's going to be a two stage preamplifier. There's going to be some high pass filtering here to give you the uh, uh, region of VHF that you're interested in. So VHF is going to come in here. It's going to get amplified. This transistor will be the lower uh, noise noise figure than this one. You don't need to spend any money on this one, but you do need to spend money on that one. The first amplifier in a chain. It's then going to get uh, bandpass filtered here to make sure you're listening to only what you want to listen to. It'll get amplified one last time before it goes into the uh, into the chip, which has lots of stuff on it. <laughs> lots and lots of stuff. Uh, so. Um, what is this chip? It is a Motorola 3335 and it is an FM receiver on a chip. Okay, so let's look at the data sheet. All right, this must be pretty old, uh, but it's low power dual conversion FM receiver. Dual conversion means there's going to be two, two stages of IF. It'll get mixed down twice. All right. And uh, let's take a look at the block diagram. Blah! I hate their block diagram. I just, I don't like their block diagram. I mean, it, it's good for their part and everything, and it shows an example of everything. But let's go ahead and redraw it, <laughs> because it's easier to explain if I draw it the way I draw it. Now, this is simplified, okay? So, yeah, there, theirs is more accurate, but uh, this is better for learning, okay? Can you see everything in there now? All right. Um, all right, so we are going to have an input, okay? And our input is going to be our uh, our radio, okay? It'll be like, say, 144 megahertz, okay? 144 megahertz. Now, um, we are first going to mix it. This is a mixer here. We're going to mix it down to an IF frequency of 1 of 21.4 megahertz. Our first IF will be 124 megahertz, and they're going to use an external crystal for a filter, okay? And so our IF frequency, okay, that's the thing that we were generating uh, with that other chip and all the diodes and everything, needs to be 144 minus 21.4 megahertz, okay? So that's what our IF frequency would be, okay? And when the IF frequency comes in and mixes with this frequency, you end up with 21.4, okay? So that's why you have an IF frequency. All right, so when we went to measure it, remember we were measuring maybe 126 megahertz, whatever default conditions the radio was in. So, so uh, it would be always lower than the input, right? So this is going to be lower than the input. And if we had, just for sake of argument, <clears throat> let's say that we had uh, a 144, what, wait a minute, let, let me get rid of that. Okay, we know we had, let's say 126. Let's say that our, our uh, phase lock loop was running at 126. If we add 21.4 to that, then the actual input it's listening to is 147.4, okay? And so that is uh, what 126 megahertz IF would be. Okay, so hope that makes, hope, hope that makes it clear. All right, so once we get our IF frequency here, we're gonna mix it a second time, okay? And this time, we're gonna mix it with 21.855, that's another external crystal, 21.855. Well, 21.855 minus 21.4 is 4.55. So our next IF frequency inside the chip is 40, 455 kilohertz, okay? It's gonna go back outside, there's gonna be uh, a filter, and to make it narrow band FM, they're using two filters to make it narrow. So 455 kilohertz filter followed by another 455 kilohertz filter to narrow it down. It's going to come inside the radio, and guess what? It's going to get mixed another time to 455, and then these 
are zero beat against one another, and what's ever left over is the modulation. That's the AM modulation on top of the carrier, and that's going to be detected, and it's going to be sent out as audio, all right? So that's the way this particular radio is set up for all of the IFs. Okay, so again, we bring in our normal one, we, get, we mix it down to an intermediate frequency of 21.4, that gets mixed down at 455 kilohertz, that gets filtered out. Remember, these both are filters. This is the first IF filter, that's the second IF filter. It gets mixed down again to audio land, and uh, out we go with audio. All right, um, their application is different than the, the way they used it in our circuit. So this is more like a, some type of FM radio, a regular one. And uh, they've just used different components because they felt like it. Uh, there is some interesting things going on. In order to use a single-ended IF, which is ground reference, they put it through a transformer, and then th now they have a, a, a dual input that, that, that swings freely. And so it's kind of acting as a crystal, but we're inputting it hard. <laughs> and so uh, that's the way that one's being used. Uh, this is our 21.4 megahertz crystal. It also has some buffering associated with it, so that's a little bit interesting. And then this is the uh, 21.855 megahertz crystal down here. Here are the two filters, 455, 455. And then there's also another filter in there, this can that I didn't show on my simplistic drawing. And then there's some other filtering and stuff for the part, and it finally goes out as audio. So yeah, it's a little bit more complicated than I drew, but uh, this, is, this is what's going on, okay? And if we look at our, our radio, uh, this is the receive chip right here. Uh, we can see our 455 kilohertz filters, one here, one here. Here's one of the crystals, here's the other crystal. Um, so the uh, receive section is right here. And, um, yeah, there you go. Okay, we're almost done. Uh, we've covered the receive section today. Like I said, that goes over here to the audio amplifier and goes out. Um, it's a heavy-duty uh, audio amplifier. You can hook up a speaker, speaker to it. Um, you don't need headphones. It'll drive a speaker directly. Uh, we go over here. This is the preamplifier, and there's a little bit more things happening over here. Um, we should probably cover those. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's go. Let's go right down here. Can I just zoom in there? Um, so the antenna comes in. Uh, there is a, a diode here that it goes through. That's probably a limiting diode, I believe, or maybe diode switching. It might just be diode switching. Um, so if you take a look at the um, this diode and this diode, I believe these are switching. Uh, this is the transmit voltage. So if you're transmitting, this goes high, which means that trans that diode gets turned on, which means it's shorted it to ground. So the receive path is shorted to ground and it won't receive anything. Okay, when you're receiving, this voltage goes high. It goes through this resistor and turns this diode on, and that allows a path for the receive. So they're 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 double. Uh, switching it. These are pin diode switching, and so this one turns on during receive, and then this one turns on during transmit, and they work together to make sure that the receive path is cut off so you don't hear yourself when you transmit, um, so that's the way that is working. All right, so the next video will be all about the amplifier, and then we'll be done.